today I'm going to teach you how to make a section cut through a Rhino model. And um, this is a really simple Rhino model here, but it will work for any level of complexity. It'll just take a little bit longer um, to split it once you're actually to that point. But um, for each one, we're going to start out in plan and draw a guideline as to where we want our section cut to be. Um, I'm going to do it at an angle, but you can do it in any direction. And whatever way you want but um, so you type in cut plane and then select the objects that you want to cut through and press enter and then make your cut line and you can see that it's actually just a plane that's going through the entire building right here and then from here you are going to type in split and then go and select your cut plane as the cutting object and then press enter and it's going to say that the splitting has failed a couple of times but that's just because you're not cutting through every piece of the Rhino model so once that's finished um, before you deselect anything type in cap because you're actually going to make sure that each of these surfaces that you've made are closed off so that you don't get any extra lines when you're making this. So um, we're going to go back into plan and then rotate it a little bit so that we can delete the things that we don't need anymore. And you're going to get a couple of excess pieces, but it should be pretty good. And then once you go back into perspective again, you can see the cut plane. You can delete that and the guideline. And you can see that all these surfaces have been capped because we remembered to, to cap them. And then from here, you can take some at all of the right angles, or you can go back into perspective and do a perspective section where you just line it up to where you want to or you can set up cameras to line it up and then go and make 2D after you select it and most of the time you want to just make sure that you have um, the show hidden lines unchecked because it'll give you all this background lines that you don't really want and especially if you're just getting a simple section perspective through your building you don't really want any of the X extra information back there so just click OK and obviously this is going really quick because this is a really simple model but everything is going to take a little bit more time when you have more complex things but um, go back up into plan and there you have your simple model and I'm going to switch to a more complex version with the true tech building right now so you can see what that comes out with because there's still a lot of work to do once you get to this point. Alright, so here you can see is a sectional perspective through another model that I've made and you can see there's a lot of um, lines that are kind of ending in weird places and a lot of things that are overlapping and everything so there's a lot of stuff that you can fix up here before you bring it into Illustrator to line weight it which will make it a lot quicker when you actually go on to do that so um, the most things that you want to do right now is get rid of these places where there are a lot of lines bunched up because um, when you put line weights to them, especially when you read them from far away, Illustrator is just going to read that as one big thick line once they get all squished together. So you want to um, delete those kinds of things and especially little lines like this because they're not going to really help you later on and they're just going to add to the confusion of the overall are all drawing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll switch to another version as well. Alright, so here I've cleaned up the drawing for the most part, but there's a couple more things that I'm going to do on here still. Um, like above these doors here, we've got a couple of lines that we're going to go ahead and delete and this is where the Rhino tools really come in handy because it's a lot easier to delete these 
lines in Rhino than it is to an Illustrator. So we're going to go ahead and do that all in here. And also what you can see I've done here is co color coordinated a lot of the lines because um, there's a couple more that we can do here. But once you change the object layers, um, all of the layers, if you export it correctly into Illustrator, will be still into separate layers. So you can use them for your line weights, which makes it a lot easier for your drawings overall in the end. So um, we're pretty much done here. I'm going to clean up a couple more of these lines, and then we can bring it into Illustrator where everything's going to be a lot more easy to read. Alright, so I'm pretty much done here, so I'm ready to bring it into Illustrator. Um, normally there's a lot more things that you can do in Rhino still, but just because this is a fairly simple drawing and there's not going to be anything else in it, I'm just going to take it into Illustrator right now and show you how to line weight it and fix a little bit more things there. So you're going to select the things that you want to take into Illustrator and go to File, Export Selected, and then from here we're going to go and change it into an Adobe Illustrator file and I'm just going to save it onto the desktop here and save it as Tutorial 1 and then click save and right here is where you're going to be able to scale your drawings right now I have it set at 330 seconds equals an inch so we're in meters here but um, it's a lot easier to scale everything here now when you know your actual sizes for your model and everything and bring them into Illustrator already scaled and try to do it some other way but um, right now we don't have the scale so I'm just going to do a snapshot of the current view. Alright, so we've got it opened into Illustrator right now and as you can see nothing is line weighted and we've all got really thick lines here so um, I'm going to change that first by selecting the red layer which I've made my cut line and that's the easiest thing that you can do in Rhino, make everything line weighted first or in other programs before you bring or change them into Illustrator. So I'm going to close off all of the other layers by locking them and then select the red layer. And then change the stroke color first. And I'm going to change that down to 0.75. And everything else is going to get smaller after that. So, um, The next layer I'm going to change is going to be the green layer here. So I'll select that. And that's going to be the lightest because I want that to be my facade layer. So I'm going to make that down to 2.5. And also, I've got to remember to change that line color as well. So I'm going to change the K value a little bit and bring it down to a gray instead of a black. And then, oh, yeah, once you've changed their line color as well, you have to remember that sometimes it changes it back to the default stroke weight which is going to be one so you have to remember to go back and make sure that's to the way you want it or you're going to have some issues and we will see what other things we've got here I think this is going to be the only layer that we've got anything else on so yeah we'll select that and change that to 0.4 all right so that's still pretty big so maybe we'll change that down to something a little bit more manageable 
But already you can see that the drawing is a little bit more readable anyway, so... Alright, so... You can already start to see that the readability of the drawing has improved a lot, and... Um, this is a really easy way to line weight your drawings and everything, and you can also um, change it by actually pocheting um, into the cut line instead, but... If you're trying to make a really simple, easy to read drawing, just using about three line weights is a really good way to go for that. And um, the next thing you can do is add some people or something else into here, and this is pretty much as far as you need to go on this. So I guess that's about it.